And in route to Kennedy Park, you don't recall being followed? No. Where did you park on your arrival at Kennedy Park? At the high school, in the back. Okay. Was it crowded at the, on your arrival? Yes. And then you arrived at the Kennedy Park at approximately 7 o'clock? Yes. What was Timothy's state of mind at this point? He was excited. <laughs> You and he were having a good a good time on this particular yeah. day. <clears throat> on your arrival at Kennedy Park, uh, what did you do? We went down and we bought tickets, three rides, went on three rides, went on the Gator ride, we went over the castle, the castle walk, and then we went on the car ride to the Kennedy Park. We played a game that was in the middle. Circumstances of his disappearance to the police. Yeah. 
The following morning, on the 26th, did you subsequently give a formal statement to the Cerebral Police Department concerning the facts and circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Timothy? Yeah. Were, the, were the facts and circumstances you related to the police uh, in that statement uh, correct? No. Would you tell me please why the facts and circumstances related on that date were not entirely correct? Okay, on, and on uh, Thursday, June 6th, we again spoke to you uh, in detail relative to the facts and circumstances surrounding the disappearance of your son, Timothy. Is that correct? Yeah. And were you also at that time advised of your constitutional rights? Yes. And did you again uh, relate to us facts and circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Timothy at the carnival? Yes. Were the facts and circumstances you related on that date accurate? Most of them. I didn't tell the whole story. Okay, and why is that? Because I'm afraid I told the whole story at some point. On the following day, Friday, June 7, we again spoke with you in detail relative to the, the circumstances surrounding Timothy's disappearance. Is that correct? Yes. And did we also at that time advise you of your constitutional rights? Yes. And did you on that date uh, give us another formal type statement? relative to the facts and circumstances of his disappearance. Yes. Were those, uh, were the circumstances you related on that date accurate? Yes, but telling everything that happened. Okay. Today, June 13th, Did we uh, request you accompany us to State Police Division Headquarters located in West Trenton, New Jersey? Yes. And did you subsequently agree to accompany us there? Yes. While at State Police Division Headquarters, uh, did you subsequently speak with Lieutenant Richard Capitan and Sergeant uh, Jerry Lewis? Yes. And did you discuss with them the facts and circumstances surrounding the disappearance of Timothy? Yes. Did you relate to them uh, a version of these facts and circumstances that differed from prior statements given to the Cerebral Police Department? Only one part is different. And what part was that, Michelle? That I did speak to the man, one of the men that had taken me Okay. Was there any other, other items that you uh, brought to light during your state police interview that you had not uh, discussed with the Cerebral Police Department? No. Was there, uh, did you mention to the state police that there was a weapon displayed during the disappearance of Timothy? Yes. Uh, that was one item that you did not mention to the Cerebral Police Department, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So during today's interview with the state police personnel at division headquarters, you two additional facts come to light, correct? Yes. The fact that you spoke with one of these gentlemen and also the fact that he brandished a knife and made threatening remarks, is that correct? Yes. Would you tell us please what those, uh, how the facts and circumstances surrounding the, act, the actual disappearance of Timothy uh, would you relate them to us as you related them to the state police, please, from the time of your initial meeting with Ellen? When I went to go get a drink, the man came up behind me and wanted to gray brown hair. He put his arm around me and showed me a knife and said that he's cute. If I didn't want anything to happen to 
resting and keep my mouth shut, keep walking, and I might see him in a month and get a phone call if I didn't say anything. Uh, Michelle, uh, the last statement you made relative to the Timothy would be appearing in a month and also you would be getting a phone call, that was not discussed with state police no. personnel at division headquarters, is that correct? Right. Uh, these last two facts, that being the phone call and the possible reappearance of Timothy within a month's time, did not come to light until we re-interviewed you here at Cerebro Police Headquarters after the state police interview. Is that correct? Yeah. Michelle, would you tell us, please, uh, why it has taken a a series of successive interviews to bring out all of this additional information pertaining to the uh, disappearance of Timothy. I was afraid to say anything anymore because they made a threat about him and I don't want him to hurt him. And I don't want to hurt him if I said that I was going to get a phone call in a month and that Timmy would be back in a month and he would be at my house and I might not get him back. Michelle, the, uh, the rest of the facts and circumstances surrounding your activities for Saturday, June 25 of this year, or scratch that, May 25 of this year, are accurate and correct to the best of your knowledge? Yes. 